worship this morning. Good morning, Miss Sarah. Good morning, Miss Kristen. Good morning, you guys. I'm so glad everyone is here in worship with us this morning. Miss Kristen, what are you making? Um, so I was really hungry this morning, and so I said, I'm just gonna invite Miss Sarah over to the kitchen and we can make some brownies because I thought that would be a really good snack for us. I love that idea. I love brownies. I can't wait for them to be done. Mm, me too. I'm gonna just pour them in this pan, okay. and then I'm gonna stick them in the oven, yes. and then presto, we will have some fabulous brownies. It's gonna be amazing. That's a it's great gonna make idea. it smell so good in here. Oh, I love so just brownies. Spread these yep. around. This is a fantastic okay. idea. Yes. Let okay. Me take this for yes. You. All right. So I'm gonna stick these in the oven, and it's gonna be so great. This is such a there. fun surprise, Charmaine. Okay. I love we're gonna it. set the timer. Okay. For that. Okay. And we're good, and it's gonna be so great, and I'm so excited. Great. Um. Okay. So, do you think they're ready? I don't uh, think so. Not maybe, maybe a little bit longer. So, oh, but are they starting to smell good? They are starting to smell good. You're um, right. Let's wait just uh, a little. Um, but, Mister, I really want the brownies. I'm really hungry. I so know. I'm gonna get I know. It'll be fine. Oh, it'll be Kristen. fine. It'll be fine. They're gonna be ready. It's been like one minute. No. Uh, but it's fine, Miss Sarah. They're gonna be so good, and they're gonna taste so delicious. Okay. And they're gonna be so great. Uh, okay. Do you want some, Miss Sarah? I really do. I love okay. this. Um, this is, oh, they're still bad, Miss Sarah. Oh. I don't think we can eat these. Uh, Miss Kristen, you know, we weren't very patient with all of this. It yeah. takes time for the brownies to bake. How about we put these back in the oven and we'll use that time to talk about the spiritual fruit we're talking today, which is patience. Okay, but Miss Sarah, I have a really hard time being patient. I'm not very good at it. Um, friends, while I put these brownies back in the oven, turn to someone you're with and talk about a time you had a really hard time being patient. sharing friends you know sometimes it's really hard to be patient a lot of times we want things right now like brownies yes. I want the brownies right now Miss Sarah exactly like brownies or maybe it's something like we can't wait for our birthday oh, yes. we can't wait for Christmas or we can't wait for our summer vacation oh those are good things you know what else Miss Sarah I can't wait to find out what I got on this big test that I had that I studied really hard for mm -hmm. or this big project that I did oh, I just want to know what happened with that mm, I get that maybe it's something like we're waiting for the doctor when we don't feel so good. That is all. A lot of things to wait for, Miss Sarah, and I just am not good at being patient. You know the hardest time for me, Miss Sarah, is when I am waiting for God to answer one of my prayers. Like, I bring it to God, and I wait, and I wait, and I feel like he's not even listening to me, mm. and I just want to do it myself and go my own way and not worry about what God's plan is. I understand, Miss Kristen. That's really hard for us to do sometimes. In the Bible, we hear about the Israelites who had to wait a long time. They were slaves in Egypt. They were taken captive in Babylon. They wandered through the desert. And the whole time, they were waiting for Jesus to come. Oh, Miss Sarah, that is a lot of waiting. That's like thousands of years of waiting. What did they do that whole time? Well, while they waited, they prayed and they trusted in God. Being tr patient and trusting God's ways are not always easy for us. But the Holy Spirit helps us when we're tempted to go our own way. When we stay connected to God, the fruit of the Spirit, patience, helps us and it grows in us. Oh, Miss Sarah, I need to stay connected to God mm -hmm. because I am not good at patience at all. You know what? I'm so thankful that God gives us his Holy Spirit to help the fruit of the Spirit to grow within us. Can we thank God for that? Yes, let's okay, pray. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, dear Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you for the Holy Spirit, for the Holy Spirit and his guidance and his guidance. Help us, help us to stay connected to you, to stay connected to you so we can, so we can have the fruits of the Spirit, have the fruits of the Spirit in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. 